All right, Anne Arundel County in the house. I don't think there's ever been this many people gathered together in the city of Annapolis to, for a protest. My office is right there. I look right out over here, and I have never seen a crowd like this. And I hope the bridge can handle it, because they're still walking across the bridge. So our county, our county's like a lot of y'alls. I'm tired of hearing from teachers who are working two jobs to try to make ends meet. And I'm tired of having teachers who can't afford to live in the county where they teach. But we had an election in November. And education won. By a lot, and it surprised a lot of people. So I got elected. There are four people on our county council. We flipped the council, and we all ran together, and we said it's time to invest in our teachers. It's time to invest in our schools. <clears throat> and we know that we're going to do it. We know that our county budget, we're going to step up, and we're going to fund those pay increases and we're going to honor the contracts that we signed that said our teachers were going to get step increases. But I just about fell out when I first heard that maybe they were not going to fund the Kerwin Commission this year. And I got a little bit upset about that. But now, now I'm feeling pretty good about it. Because this Maryland blueprint they've come up with is finally stepping up, but they haven't voted on it yet. And that's why you're here. And they're going to vote on it. And the governor better.